So one good question to ask when you're looking for a window cleaning company to use is do they use their own equipment? Now, what I mean by their own equipment is they shouldn't be asking you to use anything. They should have their own ladders, their own tools. They should show up in a company truck. They should be able to get there to your house, get the job done, and be able to leave without using any of your things. So when they actually clean your windows and, and put the ladders up and, and clean your screens, they'll be able to have the right tools and do the job right. I mean, they could ask you to use some of your tools, but you probably won't have the right tools to do the job correctly. And so that's how you can know if a window cleaning company is established and if they're legit, they should have all the right tools, all of them on hand, and they should be able to get the job done quickly and efficiently. Fully professional, fully equipped is what you're looking for when you're looking for a window cleaning company. Okay, so if you're one of those lucky people that have the high vaulted glass, those beautiful glass windows, but they're 20 feet up in the air, you don't know how to get to them. Well, obviously you need a ladder, but with that ladder, you're gonna need drop cloths. You're going to need rags that you can put on the ends of your ladder. If you have cultured marble and you put the ladder on that floor, you need to have someone hold the bottom of that ladder or it's going to slide out from underneath you, causing problems on your wall as well as causing serious injury to yourself and others. You're gonna to need to prop that ladder up against the wall. Just remember, before you put that ladder up, make sure you put the rags on each end of the ladder where the ladder will be going against your wall. So when you put it up against your wall, it will protect your sheetrock. Now, once you put it up there, make sure there's someone holding that ladder so it doesn't slip out from underneath you. Then you have to get up there and you have to wash that glass. Make sure you have the right tools. You are going to need a professional mop, professional squeegee. You can do this or you can hire a window cleaning company to come in and do that for you. You don't have to worry about it at all. Here's the first sign you'll know that you're working with a bad window cleaning company. You're on the phone with them and you're asking them for a price and you're asking them to set up an appointment and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't want to work with a company like that. If you're on the phone with them, you're trying to schedule, you're trying to get some prices from them and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't want to work with a company like that. You want to hang up the phone immediately. When you hire a window cleaning company, it's very important that they treat you with utmost courtesy, respect, kindness. You want to work with a window cleaning company who is always there for you. And they show you that you are number one because you are number one. You're the customer and you're their bread and butter. It's so important that a company treats you well, that they're there for you, they're there when you call them, that they're giving you the service, the quality. That company should be willing to do anything for you. They should be willing to pet your dog. They should be willing to give you a massage while they're washing your windows. You should be that important to them. So if you like what you've seen and you'd like to learn more, then please go to my website, jjwindowwash.com. See you soon.